East Liverpool's Elizabeth Street Bridge, which crosses a set of railroad tracks, was shut down early last month. It's in that bad of shape. The first public meeting to talk about a replacement was held tonight. First News reporter Dan Marcel was there. New at 10, Dan joins us live in the studio with what happened. Well, good evening, Stan and Mandy. It was a unanimous decision to move forward with this bridge replacement plan. Several neighbors I spoke with were very happy that it's happening, but they're not happy with how the bridge closure has been handled so far. It definitely needs some repair. The Elizabeth Street Bridge in East Liverpool has been an eyesore for neighbors for a long time. The pilings that are holding it up are chipped away, deteriorating. The, the, the structure underneath is completely rusted. It doesn't look like it's ever been repainted. Tonight, City Council voted to start a plan on replacing the bridge. Safety Service Director Brian Allen says there are a lot more hoops to jump through before the city can move forward. It's contingent on a lot of other things happening, uh, so we're not really bound by anything at this point. If all goes according to plan, the bridge will be completed by fall of 2019. The total cost will be around $2.4 million, but thanks to a partnership with the Ohio Rail Development Commission, it could be replaced at no cost to the city. Neighbors tell me that it is an inconvenience to have the bridge out, but they understand why it was closed in the first place. But they tell me that their biggest worry is actually these train tracks right here, which run through the only other road in and out of the neighborhood. It's just a potential to some real dangerous problems, I think. Uh, you know, a house on fire and there's a train going by, then people are in trouble. Now, the City Council's next meeting will be on February 14th. They'll discuss the next step in this ongoing process. Live in the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.